Let's go ahead and climb on into our Saxon Phonics lesson for today. Welcome back, boys and girls. I'm going to say some words, and I want you to listen for the sound in the final position. Table, thimble, bubble. What sound do you hear in the final position? Listen carefully. Table, thimble, bubble. We hear the bull sound at the end of those words. This sound is different from those that we have been learning because it contains two sounds. B, O. Look at these words up on the board. Table, thimble, bubble. What do you see that might be making the bull sound? That's right. B-L-E is making the bull sound in each of these words. B-L-E makes the bull sound. B-L-E is something new that we call a final, stable syllable. We call it final because it's in the final position. We call it stable because it does not change. When we say something is stable, it never changes. We can count on it always having the bull sound in the final position. And we call it a syllable because it has its own vowel sound. The strange thing about it is we do not hear the vowel sound that it makes. The vowel E does not make a sound. It's silent. So we cross out the E's. The vowel sound we do hear in the final stable syllable is the schwa sound. This is the sound uh that we hear between the B and the L. Just like when we had our words the uh uh and uh uh uh. We hear the same sound in bull. We code a final stable syllable by placing a bracket in front of it. When a word has a final stable syllable, the accent mark usually falls on the syllable before the bracket. The bracket is like the dividing line we use when we code two syllable words. It helps us separate the syllables. When we code the vowel, we look only at the letters in the syllable containing the vowel. Let's look at the word table. How do we code an A that is open and accented? Yes, it's going to be long and we code it with a macron. The syllable here is TE. The A is not followed by a consonant and the syllable is accented. Let's finish coding our other words. Let's look at the word THIMBLE. What do we need to code first? Yes, we see digraph TH, so let's underline it. And remember, here in the word thimble, digraph TH is making its unvoiced sound. So we're going to leave it alone. What other coding do we need to do? Yes, we have a vowel that's followed by a consonant, so we're going to code it with a breathe. Let's look at our last word, bubble. How should I code this word? Wait, be careful. That is not double consonants. Our B 
B is now part of final stable syllable B L E. So it's completely separate. So let's look for our vowel. We have a vowel followed by a consonant, so we're going to code it with a brief. Now take a look at this word. It's a bit different. Sometimes you'll see a digraph in the syllable before the final stable syllable. All we need to do is bracket off the final stable syllable. We're going to put our accent mark. We're going to cross out our E. And then we code our digraph just like we always have. So we're going to underline digraph EE, -E, cross out the final E because it's silent, and put a macron over the first E because it's making the long E sound and saying its name. I have this word up on my board. Let's see if I've spelled it correctly. First, let's listen to the sounds as we chop it up with our bodies. St, a, bull. So now we need to bracket off our final stable syllable, B, L, E. We need to put our accent mark before the bracket and cross out our E because it is silent. Now, let's look at our vowel. Is our vowel followed by a consonant? No, it is not. An open, accented vowel is long, and we code it with a macron. Now, if we were to read this word, it would stay stubble. Is that the word we were trying to spell? No, we wanted to spell the word stubble. Hmm, what do we need to change? Let's break apart the word again. St a bull. Hmm, what do we need to add? to make that U short. Let's think about our rule about short vowels. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. So, we need to make sure that this letter U is followed by a consonant. But I don't hear any other consonants in this word but the B, B, B sound. Hmm, maybe if I add another letter B, I can now change that to a breathe and make the vowel short. So now I have the word stubble. Thank you, boys and girls, for helping me with that. So, boys and girls, today we have learned about final stable syllable B L E. So, when we see this card, we're going to say final stable syllable B L E. And to help us remember what sound it makes, we have bubble, bull. So when I tell you the bull sound, we're going to write and say final stable syllable, B-L-E. We also have a new sight word today. This is the word they. They went to the park. Remember, sight words are words that we have memorized. They are not words that follow the rules. So when we see this word in our reading or in our writing, we're going to go ahead and circle it because it's a word that we know. Great job, boys and girls. 
Now let's practice coding some words up on the board. Let's start with this phrase up on the board. Let's start with the first word in this phrase. What do you see at the end of the word? Yes, we see V-E. And we've learned that words that end with the V sound will be spelled with V-E. And we know that the E at the end of words is going to be silent. It's going to be our sneaky E. So let's cross it out. And it jumps over and it's going to make the I long and say its name. Let's go over to our next word. Look at the end again. We have suffix S. So let's put a box around it. And I know when suffix S comes after the letter G, it's going to make the Z sound. It's going to make its voiced sound. So let's draw a voice line through it so we remember that it goes Z, Z, Z. Now let's code our vowel. We have a vowel followed by a consonant, so we're going to code it with a breve. Let's look at our next word. What word is that? It's the word of. So let's circle it because we know that word. Now on to the next word. Look at the end. We have final stable syllable B-L-E. So let's bracket it off. Cross out our E because it's silent and put an accent mark after the first syllable. Now let's code our first syllable. Look at the vowel. We have an open accented vowel, so we're going to code it with a macron. Now let's look at our last word. We have digraph EE, -E, so let's underline it. And we're going to cross out our second E because it is silent and put a macron over our first E to remind us that it is making its long sound. It's saying its name. Now let's go ahead and let's read this phrase. Five bags of stable feed. That's a lot of food for animals that live in a stable. Five bags of stable feed. Now let's go ahead and let's code this word. Look at the end of the word. We have final stable syllable B-L-E again. So let's bracket it off. We're going to cross out the E because it is silent and put an accent mark after the first syllable. Now let's code our first syllable. We have a vowel followed by a consonant, so we're going to code it with a breve. Now let's go ahead and read this word. Bumble. Hmm, that reminds me of a bumblebee. Let's go ahead and let's code our last phrase. Do we see any easy? obvious things we can code in that first word? Yes, we see the letter C. So let's draw a K back to remind us that it makes the K sound. Now let's look for our vowel consonant pattern. We have vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel right there. So let's draw our syllable divider line and put an accent mark after the first syllable. Now let's code our first syllable. I see a vowel followed by a consonant, so I'm going to code it with a breve. Let's go on to our second syllable. I see another vowel followed by a consonant, so I'm going to code it with a breve. Let's go on to our next word. What do you see there in the middle? Digraph OO, so let's underline it. And let's go on to our last word. Look at the end. There's suffix s again. And as we talked about earlier, when suffix s comes after the letter g, it's going to make its voiced sound. So let's draw a line through it. What else do you see? There's a digraph there. 
Yes, good I. Digraph NG. So let's underline it. Now, what should we do with that I there? A vowel followed by a consonant is coded with a brief. Great job today, boys and girls. Thank you for all of your help. Keep an eye out for those final staple syllables. We're going to keep practicing those for a few more lessons. See you later. Bye.